fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. The hearty cry of high old silver has echoed through the years from the wild and untamed west of yesterday. It has acted as a symbol of courage to the oppressed, a challenge to the lawless. Let us return to the west of old and thrill to another of the Lone Ranger stories, featuring the most picturesque and colorful character ever to ride the plains and prairies. As our drama begins, we see the masked rider of justice urging his great horse silver down the trail, leading to the town of Osage. Listen to those flying silver shot hoofs. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver, old boy. Only a short distance left to cover. God was waiting for us at the end of the trail. Hurry, old Silver. Many stories had reached the people of Osage about the Bruggen brothers, two of the worst outlaws in the West. But little did they suspect that the notorious killers were seated in one corner of the room in the cafe, where a number of men lined the long bar talking about them. Let us move to that corner table and meet Dan and Paul Bruggen as they discuss their plans for the evening. It'll be a cinch to get away with the cash in the Osage Bank, Paul. There ain't but one man there, and he's too slow to beat anyone to the draw. I'm with you, Dan. Only I still say there ain't no use taking chances. He'll hanker to shoot the banker, eh? Why not? Well, he ain't never hurt us none. He ain't never had the chance to hurt us. Let him get a look at our faces and we're done for. Mm, maybe. The reason we're still free is because we never let ourselves be seen. You're the boss, Paul, and what you say goes. I say we're fools to take chances on being recognized. All right. Shoot the banker, then. If ever we do get caught, we'll swing anyhow. Most one more murder out of the hole we got behind us. What about this hiding place you mentioned? It's a humdinger. How far? Two hours, right? Good. How's the ground between here and there? No grass or nothing to show a trail. Then we can get to the hiding place without being followed. Easy. How long can we stay there? As long as we want. We'll stay there when we feel it's safe to move on somewhere else. Good. Now, toss off that drink. Let's get started. We've got some banking business it needs tending to. Missouri? It rankles me to be so flat broke. Don't rankle you no more than it does me, Sleepy. Here's the two of us stove in old critters that ain't worth a dime to no man. Oh, when I think of all the cash we uns had a while back, and now... Hey there, you two old mavericks. Meaning us, bartender? Meaning you, Missouri. You and Sleepy step up here and let me have your order. Uh, well, it be, Sleepy. Oh, I, I reckon I ain't drinking no more. Come on. We both ain't drinking, bartender. Oh, I savvy. <laughs> Busted, eh? Flat broke. Well, you were warned when you heard that silver mine that your luck mightn't hold out forever. I ain't complaining. We had plenty of fun while our claim was good. Now it's petered out and we're broke. You ain't complaining, but you ain't drinking either. Now, come on, gents. It's on the house. Well, maybe it's sooner have some chug. Doggone some grub would taste right good. Then step right back into the kitchen and tell the chink to fix you up. Now, look here. We ain't accepting no charity. Who says it's charity, Missouri? Why, you blamed old fool, you could be giving the whole town of Osage. And it wouldn't be charity. 
Not after all you two of you done for folks around here. Oh, we ain't done so much. Not unless you call giving away every dime you got from your silver mine something. Well, I'd dead rather the two of you made things easier for every poor family in the county. Oh. Now get yourself back to the kitchen and fill up. Mm, after the sourdough we've been living on, some real food might spoil us. Go on, eat. Now, wait a minute, Barkeep. Does that invite include a friend of ours? Eh? This engine looks hard up and down on his luck. Come on, engine. You look like you could pack away some hot grub. Me not hungry. Oh, he ain't. Me got plenty of food. Reckon he means it, Missouri. Come on, let's put on the feed bag. I'm gosh awful hungry. Yeah, turned old fools. That's what they are. Ooh, them. Missouri and Sleepy. That's what they're called. They just can't bear to see anyone in hard luck. Oh. They thought you was up again it and was willing to share a meal with you. They've been the same with every pilgrim and stray hound dog they ever seen. Them good fella. It's a darn shame the silver mine run out. They deserve to have things easy. More than any man I ever knowed about. Where? Their mine. Off north of somewheres. By thunder, them two will eat free of charge as long as I got grub and a place to cook it. It's their pride that makes it so hard to do things for them. Come on, boys. It's the bank. It's the rock. When did it happen? What was the shooting? Anybody hurt? Let's go. I'll bet it's the Brugen. How many of them was there? Two men done it. They shot the banker. Where'd they go? Anybody see him? Anybody else hurt besides the banker? Wait there, boys. Let me prove. Sheriff, old man Lifner's been shot down. Anybody see it? Who done it? Did they get away with money? They cleaned out the bank. I seen the two of them riding away like old kid out. Which way's the head? Over yonder, that way. Missouri, the bank's been robbed. Our old pal's been shot down. Doggone it. Why in blazes has there got to be outlaws like them Brugan? What was that you said, Missouri? I said it's the Brugan, Sheriff. How'd you know? It's their style of job. Missouri's right. The Brugan's done it. Nobody else be honor enough to drill a man just out of pure cussedness. There wasn't no reason to shoot the banker. He couldn't have hurt him. To get men and horses. Call in the deputies. We got to start a posse. We're going to run them Brugans down if it's the last thing we ever do. You're sure it's the Brugan Sheriff? I'm willing to bet on it. If it ain't, we'll find out who it is. I've been expecting them Brugans to show up here most any time now. Remember, boys, there's plenty of reward money for those who get them. Come on now, get going. Sheriff, we aimed right along with you. Not you, Sleepy. Who says we can't? Missouri, you and Sleepy are old men. No, Dad, right it. That ain't no way to talk to able-bodied men like us. Men that go out after the Brugans got to be hard-riding, fast-shooting mavericks. And you mean to say we can't ride after them ornery coyotes? The banker's a friend of ours. We want to help in running these killers down. I'm taking the men I feel are best suited for the job. You two have done enough for this community. Come on, boys. Let's get started. Too old, Sleepy. By thunder, we weren't too old to help the sheriff's wife when she needed cash while the sheriff was out manhunting. What? matter? Oh, it's the engine. Um, me name Tonto. Dad, why did I wish you could be riding with them men, engine? There ain't nobody but an engine or a bloodhound could follow the trail of them Brugan. They just don't leave a trail. Brugan feller killing man, huh? Tain't only that engine. The man that was shot was our friend. Yeah, and the sheriff won't let us go gunning for the rats that done it. Maybe me helping you. Oh, how can you help us, engine? Say, maybe the three of us could go out trailing, eh? No. You stay here. Blast it! We don't want to stay here. We want to get them Brugan. What's more, we can use that reward money. There's over $2,000 in rewards for the capture of them coyotes. And every man in town has a chance to get a crack at that reward but us. Sleepy, no matter what the sheriff says, me and you are going manhunting. Maybe Tonto help him. Here, white fella. Hey, Injun. Is that your horse? Oh. Uh-huh. Gosh, old fish hooks. What a critter that is. Don't don't ride him plenty fast. You wait. Maybe me come back soon. Hold on, Tonto. Ain't you taking us along with you? Get him up, white fella. two weeks, the sheriff's men scoured the country without finding any trail of the two Brugans. Old Sleepy in Missouri also did some manhunting, wondering meanwhile where Tonto the Indian had gone. We find the tired old men in their humble shack, discouraged at their futile efforts to capture the desperate outlaws. No, it ain't no use trying to think otherwise, Missouri. 
We just ain't good for nothing no more. Can't even run down a couple of outlaw killers like the Brugans. Dad rabbit sleepy. We are getting old. And hungry. Doggone it, Missouri. I'd give a lot for a good man-sized meal again. Well, we might sort of drift over to the cafe. Yeah, and get a free handout. No, thanks. I'd sooner starve than take charity. If we was 30 years or so younger, we might have a chance of running down them Brugans. But now... Come on in. I'm looking for two men known as Sleepy in Missouri. Well, you got the right man, stranger. What's on your mind? You own a silver mine, don't you? Yeah, but all there is to it now is a big tunnel. It petered out. What makes you think it petered out? Count of it ain't no good no more, that's why. You're from East, ain't you? I know something about mine. Mm, a mining expert, eh? Well, if you don't know much about ours, he wouldn't take the trouble of calling on us. Did you tell an Indian about your mine? Indian? Yeah, we did, stranger. Remember, Missouri? That red skill called it up Tonto. Yeah, that's so. The Indian knows about your mine, and I heard him making certain plans concerning it. What sort of plans? I was led to believe that a new vein had been found in that tunnel of yours. Yeah? Don't go it. No fooling. Do you reckon that Indian's gone there and found a new vein of silver? It might be well for you two to hurry over there and investigate it. By thunderation. If anyone's tried to jump our train, as I'll... As it remains abandoned, you can't expect people to stay away from there. What's your interest in it, stranger? Are you from one of the big companies aiming to buy up our silver mine? I wouldn't buy it unless it proved worthwhile. Oh. Wouldn't do no harm to drift over that way, Sleepy. Why not? We can starve there just as well as we can here. Do you have any mining supplies left? Yeah, some. We got digging tools, no matter blasting powder. Then I'd advise you to investigate that mine as quickly as you can. It might be worth your while. <laughs> Sleepy and Missouri headed toward their old abandoned mine. As they trudged along the rocky trail, it was easy to see that Sleepy was still very skeptical over the prospect of finding silver ore. Mm, I don't know about this, Missouri. Just don't seem to make sense. What down? Taking time to go up here and look at that no good mine of ours. We made sure there weren't no more veins there. Maybe we didn't look careful enough. Uh, it's getting toward dark now, anyway. We can't go inside till morning. Well, we can wait around outside. There's plenty of places to camp right around here. I know. We'd be blame fools to turn back now, Sleepy. There's a tunnel inside already. Yeah. But I ain't counting on ever seeing silver in that old tunnel again. Take a look at it, sir. Don't it look downright ugly? Time was when we thought it looked pretty fine. Yeah. Say, Missouri, let's... Uh, what the... That sounded like a gunshot. Thunderation. Who'd be popping at us here? Hi! Now, that hit the dirt right near us. Where'd it come from? Blame the vine, oh. Hit the ground. Dad, let it. Get that in your stomach. Right. Play dead for a second. Yeah. Edge over this way. We can get us some protection behind that rock. Yeah. Ain't no use shooting back. We can't see nothing to shoot at. I'll get back here. Uh, 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 that second shot come close. Too close for comfort. Missouri, them shots come from the direction of the tunnel. Reckon so. But the direction don't matter none if they hit you. Well, the point is it proves one thing. Yeah? Someone aims to keep us from that silver mine. And if someone wants to keep us from it, then doggone it, that's a sure sign there's something worthwhile there. Darned if there ain't. Well, we might find something if we don't get shot first. Come on, let's take a chance. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scene, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our drama. You will recall the two old prospectors, Sleepy and Missouri, were on their way to an abandoned silver mine. When they were a short distance away from it, several shots were fired at them. Immediately they became certain the mine was worth investigating. The next morning, the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, were looking over the grounds not far from the entrance of the mine. The masked man is the first to speak. So, Sleepy and Missouri spent the night in hiding? Mm, that's right. You heard them say that they were determined to investigate the mine? Ah. Uh, them think you feller from east. I know they do, Tonto. When I called on them, I went disguised as an easterner. <laughs> that's plenty good. They thought I was a mining expert, willing perhaps to buy their claim if they would prove that it was worthwhile. You show old feller that? I think they'll find it worth the trouble of investigating, Tonto. Remember, I'm counting on you. Tonto, got plenty hole drill in mine. Have you filled the holes with powder? Not right. And the fuses are all ready to be lighted? Uh-huh. We want to make sure that when the two old prospectors do what I'm going to suggest, an explosion does just what we want it to do. Mm. I'm going to see them, Tonto. And in about an hour, you'll be able to light the fuses and set off the charge. Tonto, keep close watch. Missouri and Sleepy might need some help. And them get plenty help. Here, Silver! It's pretty early in the morning. But the sooner those two get started, the better. By night, I hope they'll find themselves rich men again. And them good feller. That's the reason I want to help them if it's possible. Yep. I'll head for their camp now. Come on, Silver. up and move around a little, Missouri. Then you'll be all right. You been up for long? Yeah, just a couple of minutes. We got a lot of work to do today. Well, we sure enough have. We're going to get our mine back and see if there ain't some silver to be found in there. Hey, ain't that a horse coming this way? Sounds like. Maybe that's the critter that's holding possession of our mine. Oh, that's over. Oh, oh, oh. Please, man. Well, what the Sam Hill? Stick up your hands, mister. We aim to talk to you. Put your guns down, men. I'm here as a friend of yours. But your mask, Dad Raddit. What's the big idea of that? You men are heading for certain death if you think you can walk into that mine and take possession of it. Oh, so you come from there to give us a warning, eh? Well, we're a couple of old galoots. But by ginger, what's ours is ours. And we're going to fight for it. You won't have a chance fighting. Who says we won't? Just you and your pards over yonder try and stop us, mister. I'm not with the men over yonder. I came to tell you one way you could outwit them. Yeah? What's your interest in a couple of old critters like us, mister? The men inside that tunnel will be hidden from you, but you'll make easy targets for them. We'll take our chances. You have some blasting powder here, haven't you? Yeah, what of it? Fix some of it in a bundle and attach a piece of fuse. Yeah? Then get as close to the mouth of the tunnel as you can. Light the fuse and throw the bundle into the tunnel. What's that for? The blast might fill the mouth and seal the men inside it. The only way they could escape would be by the air shaft at the rear. If you were at the outside of that shaft, you could make them surrender to you. No, that wouldn't work, mister. Why? That air shaft just straight holds, like a chimbley. Goes straight up. Man couldn't climb out of that. My part's right, mister. You can let a rope down and haul them out. That would be the best way to capture them and make them stand trial for stealing your silver. Man, Raggett, you talk like there was silver in there. Didn't you come here to get it? But we, uh... Look here. Who in tarnation are you, anyhow? I came here as a friend to help you get the men who have taken possession of your silver mine. Perhaps they're enemies of mine as well as yours. I begin to savvy. They done you out of your share of some deal, eh? You can think what you please. You figured to get even with them by having us taken prisoners, ain't that it? Perhaps it is. Take the plan or leave it, whichever you like. I've given it to you for what it's worth. Why didn't you try that plan yourself? You're so dead sought on seeing whoever's inside our tunnel captured. You think I could take them to trial? They haven't taken possession of my mind. I thunder that's right, Missouri. It's our property they've taken, ain't it? We're the ones that have to take them to the judge. Furthermore, you have blasting powder. Yeah. I don't have. Yeah, that's so. I'm for trying this stranger's idea, Sleepy. Maybe you are not wrong, mister, with that mask on your face. But I like the style of your talk. If you're for it, Pa, then I'm for it, too. We'll probably get our heads blowed off, but then that'll keep us from getting hungry again. Come on. Missouri and his 
partner went about the task of attaching the fuse. The Lone Ranger slipped quietly away, permitting the two old prospectors to believe that he was an outlaw. When they had the powder and fuse ready, the men crept to a spot a few yards away from the tunnel entrance. Got that fuse fixed right, Missouri? Yeah, it's powerful short, but I reckon it'll do. Uh, which one of us better do the throw-in, Missouri? No, no. We've got to do it from here, though, or we'll be seen. Got a light? Yeah. Careful with it. I know how to do this. You better throw it, Missouri. We got to make a land in the side of the hill, just above the tunnel entrance. Leave it to me. Here goes the match. Now for it. Hold her steady while I light that blasted fuse. Yeah? There. She's catching. Throw it quick. There she goes. Fall flat down on the ground. I'm down. I hold your ears. Did it hit right? I I don't think so. Yeah, it did. Look, the entrance is closed. We got him trapped. Hit it right square. You done just swell, Missouri. We sure blocked the tunnel that time. All right, Sleepy. We're heading for the air shaft the top of the hill. And when we get there, we'll sit and wait till them coyotes get good and tired of worrying about getting out. Sleepy and Missouri scrambled up the side of the hill to the air shaft and waited there for quite some time. They didn't know that while they were watching the opening, Tonto was racing toward the town to bring the sheriff and his men. Finally, Sleepy said, I reckon we can try and help them coyotes now, Missouri. Yep. I'll try and talk to them. Hey, down there! We got you covered. And if you want to come out alive, you better surrender. I wonder if they can hear you. Hey, you! You can't get out there unless we haul you out with a rope. So you better surrender or we'll leave you to starve. Gosh, I hope we ain't killed them with that blast. Ah, they're down there all right. I hear them moving around a couple of times. You fellas coming up? Are you going to make us drop some blasting powder down this hole? <laughs> By Ginger, Missouri, we catch them all right. Now we can take them into stand trial, then come back and see what they've been stealing from our silver mine. <laughs> Hand me that rope, Sleepy. Yeah. I'll take my own time to get you thieving coyotes out of there. I'll drop down a rope and you tie your guns to it first. When will we get out? When we get your guns. Here's a rope coming down. Tie your guns on it and be quick. Ain't no use taking chances with him, Sleepy, no. All right. All right. Here, I'll give you a hand. Yeah, come on, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. There we are. Untie the gun, Sleepy. Uh. She's a coming, but remember, we'll drill you critters if you try any tricks on us. We Grab a hold now and we'll haul you up. Uh, wait till I get a hold, Missouri. There now. Oh, now. Uh, don't let her slip now. Uh, 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 my bro, my part's still down there. Well, we'll get him out pronto. Now you stand by and don't try nothing. Yeah. You ain't going to drill me? Not if you behave. All we want is for you to take us back into the silver mine and tell us where the new vein's at. New vein? Hey, you hold the gun on him, Sleepy. Stand still there till we get your part out. Grab a hold, man. Come on out. How many of you is there? Just the two of us? Yeah. Give us a hand in hauling your part out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, these will take it easy. They thought we found silver in there, and all they want is a mine. Huh? They don't know us. Gosh. We're well, downright sorry we was in your mind, Zance, and we'll... Now you blame old fool, stick him out. That's it. He's got another gun. Oh, you didn't know us, huh? It's about time you met the Bruggen brothers. Holy mackerel, the Bruggen. The Bruggen's is right. We ain't letting you go back and tell the sheriff you found us. <laughs> It'd be a downright disgrace to be catched by a couple stove in old fools like you two. Let's drill them and toss them down in there. Now look here, Brugan, you ornery killing skunk. We ain't done nothing to you. We didn't figure you was a Brugan. We figured you was just a couple hombres that found silver in our mines. Silver? <laughs> All that holds good fur is hiding. 
And I reckon it'll hide you two from now till doomsday. I doubt that, boy. Why, huh? oh, the masked man. Oh, the hell. Look out. Oh, my hell. If you force me to fire again, I'll do more than shoot your guns away. Uh, stranger, these are the Brugans. There's a reward out for them. I know that. And you got them. No, you two men got them. You see, Tonto managed to trail them to the tunnel, but he wanted you to make the capture, and he didn't want you killed while doing it. Keep them covered now. The sheriff and his posse are coming to help you. But how the sheriff know? I'll kill you for this, mister, if it takes Your children. killing days are over, Brugan. If you raise a hand against the masked man, then I won't wait for the sheriff to come. I'll deal with you right here and now. I happen to find out how much good you did with the money from your silver mine. You helped a lot of people, and it's about time someone helped you. You saved our lives. That's what you've done, mister. I told you there might be silver in your mine. There is, but not as you thought. The rewards that are standing for the capture of these two men will amount to quite a sum. Here. Oh. Hey, boys. Wait in the dying. And they got the rookie. It ain't us, Sheriff. It's that masked man. He told us there was men here, and he told us how to trap them. You was the boys holding the guns on them coyotes. Rope them in. And let's get him into town. At last, we got the broken. And the last on you, Sheriff. You said old Sleepy in Missouri wasn't fit to travel with a posse. Well, I'm <laughs> doggone glad they didn't. The posse didn't get no place. But Missouri and Sleepy sure enough did. Get them critters herded and back to town now, boys. Make it fast. But the rewards. There's the man that's entitled to them, Sheriff. <laughs> Well, looks like he wasn't interested in no reward, Missouri. Rabbit, there's things I don't savvy about this, Sheriff. Me too. I wonder if it ain't that masked man fired the shot that made us figure someone was inside that tunnel. And the same with that there blasting powder. It landed a long way from where it was supposed to land, and yet when it went off, the explosion was right above the tunnel where it'd do the most good. There's lots that needs explaining. Yeah. Sleepy, that mine want no good. And the masked man knew it. All he wanted was for us to capture the two Brugans so we'd get that reward money. And thanks to him, we don't never have to worry about food and sitch again. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.